Welcome friends, welcome to Pizza of the Week. And uh, so this is a bit of a wild card, I had an idea. <laughs> and we'll see how it turns out. So I don't know if you are on Team Saint Hubert or maybe Team Swiss Chalet. Either way, I think this would work with either company's product. So I've got the, uh, I've got the pizza dough floured on both sides and you just make a dimple around the edge just to define where the crust of the pizza is going to be. And then down through the center and you just kind of push it out. Now, for those of you who are not in Canada and have no clue about Swiss Chalet or Saint Hubert, they're both kind of this rotisserie chicken place. It's rotisserie chicken and chips. And they both have these sauces that I think are amazing. Um, Saint Hubert is mostly in Quebec. Uh, Swiss Chalet is mostly in Ontario and Western Canada. So you pick up your dough and it, if it is going correctly, it will sort of stretch itself. This one's a little bit cool, so I might have to put my fists underneath and just stretch it out a little bit. You don't have to be too forceful. You don't have to throw it around much. Just be gentle. It'll do what it's supposed to do. And then down onto the peel. Just kind of stretch it a little bit. Try to shape it into more of a circle if you can. Now, I'm going to hit this with some chalet sauce. Love this stuff. I can drink it right out of the cup. I wish you could figure out the secret to this sauce. Uh, it is more secretive than KFC or Coca-Cola. Now, rotisserie chicken. Uh, we're gonna throw on some strips of chicken. And I've cut this off earlier. You could use white meat or dark meat. Got some of their French fries. Used to really love their French fries. Uh, they're not as good as they used to be, but you know, I guess that's with everything too. And because I'm in Canada, I'm gonna turn this into poutine. So I've got some cheese curds and just spread the cheese curds out over top. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to say to Ontario cheese producers, why is it so hard for me in Ontario to get decent cheese curds? You can go to any dépanneur in Quebec and get amazing squeaky cheese curds. Here in Ontario, we suffer with this stuff. It's almost cheddar at this point. Now, because this is put in, just drizzle a little bit of sauce over the top, just to get on top of the cheese. And it's out to the oven. And into the oven. And just get in there and give it a turn, just so it cooks evenly. Oh, is that why there was Swiss chalet in the fridge? Yes. I was trying to figure that out. It's like, what? <laughs> you go away one night and suddenly you come home and there's Swiss chalet in the fridge. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. Swiss chalet poutine pizza. Sure, why not? Yeah. What's it? Wait, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh, cheese curds. <laughs> I mean, got it to my mouth and it's falling off. Okay, I got it. I got it. I've got to say. Maybe a little more sauce. All the flavors are there, but I look, I should, I could dip this. I could heat the sauce. And you just dip, dip it. Dip the pizza in the sauce. Yeah. It's so. a bit bland, I think, in this version. So maybe more sauce. But it's hard to tell with sauce because sometimes sauce is just too. Makes it too soggy. Make it too soggy. You remember a few pizzas ago? The, the pesto. The pesto was too yeah. much. Okay. I don't know that I'm fond with the fries, though. I am. I guess this is all mine. All of this pizza belongs to me. The chips are really crunchy. I know, I flipped between fr chips and fries. I mm -hmm. uh, this one is definitely for you. More sauce. I pour, I'd heat up some sauce and pour it on top after it comes out, or I'd pour more on before. I'd pour more, more on sauce. before. I'm amazed you had sauce left over to I actually would, put on this pizza, I would, to be honest. I would dip the pizza in the sauce, 
I would drink the sauce as I'm eating the pizza. I'm fully aware. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.